Tonight, we have a really disappointing update to a story we all shared with you last night about Lucy Laney Elementary School. I mean, here's a story that shocked all of us when we learned the news today. And Lindsay Sievert's back with us to explain kind of what went down today. Yeah, so I was actually working on the story. I was working on the documentary portion. I got a text from the principals at Lucy Laney saying, wait a second, we just found out from the Minneapolis School District that we are not off the failing schools list as we originally thought because there is what they call a clerical error. So Minneapolis Public Schools was um, reviewing some data and saying, oh, this do doesn't seem right. Yeah. And so what they realized is Lucy Laney was classified in their system as a K-8 school. That was a few years ago they were a K-8 school. Now they are a K-5 school. So when they corrected that mistake and reapplied all the metrics, it put Lucy Laney down back to where the school has always been as a lowest performing school. So Superintendent Ed Graff rushed over to the school to tell the staff about this mistake in person. As you can imagine, it was devastating only one day earlier earlier thinking that they had achieved the impossible. And as soon as he said it, I, I cried. I didn't really, I hate crying. I feel like it makes you look really weak. I didn't like ball, ugly sob cry. I, I tried to kind of push my tears away, but I just said, what do we do? What do we do now? I, I, the staff cannot, these teachers cannot hear this. Building the light up, like you're making a difference and then to take it away. That's what we told the children. After they the kids, now you have to tell the babies like, oh, the just kidding. Exactly we didn't make all of that grow. It breaks my heart. It is not our fault. We've done nothing wrong at all. It's extremely disappointing and I take full responsibility as a superintendent that we should have that information presented to MDE um, accurately and unfortunately um, you know it's it's had a huge impact on the school. You know working in education there are so many opportunities for us to provide labels and put labels on things on schools, on students, on educators, on teachers, on families and that's not necessarily accurate it's not really reflective of who the students are, who the school is. Everyone has to decide at different times or moments in their personal and professional life if this adversity is going to define you. And what I would hope that people would see about the school, I would hope that people would see about me, is that um, I've not let adversity define me before, and I won't let it define me now. Yeah. So, yeah, it was it, when we got there. Teachers were just sobbing. I mean, you saw the one. It's so for people who don't know the backstory about this, yeah. how long has this school been on the underachieving list? So since it opened in 1999, so 18 years, never okay. never moved off. And Maury's been working with them for how long? Uh, over a, d a decade, a about. Decade. And, I, and I will say that the district did note that Lucy Laney has made a lot of improvements in test scores. Four years, consecutive increase in test scores, okay. increase in attendance. So they could get there. Um, and I should also mention that the clerical error affected four schools in all and two other schools, Nellie Stone Johnson and Green Central. Also, when this mistake was corrected, they moved back down the list too. Oh, so wow. they weren't the only one, but oh, Lucy Laney goodness. was the one who was at the bottom, the longest, had never moved off of it. Those other schools have kind of been up and down. So. And I really liked <clears> what the superintendent had to say about labels. I think that that's so important because the worst thing you can do to a kid or to a school is label them as something. But if you weren't watching Lindsay's piece last right. night, they have a responsibility, Maury thinks, to tell the parents that they're on this list so parents can choose if they want to send their mm -hmm. schools or their kids to another school. But yeah. I, w I just want to say this to all of you at Lucy Laney. Thank you for this shirt. <laughs> I am the proud greatest. to be on your team. I will wear it with pride. I will wear it the day you get off that list, but no matter what list you're on, you're number one with me every time. Something tells me. I we, agree. We've seen yes, these yes. characters. They're not done. We're not done. It's this, just this another story step. continues. This it's story just continues. Step. So, all right. Thank thanks, you, Lindsay. Guys. Appreciate, Appreciate your support. Yeah.